so hello guys in this video i will teach you how to make barrels in blender i will teach you exactly like i taught in this post i showed the photo in this post of my instagram so from the background to the barrels i'll teach you everything even the dents so let's start by deleting everything and now let's add a plane this will be our ground make it big enough so that all of your barrels can fit so click the f2 key if you if you are on a laptop and your f2 key is turning increasing or decreasing the volume then click fn which is function so let's rename this as ground and now let's change the color to a grassy color like about this much is perfect now go here to the uh, to the particle properties and then click this plus icon now by default it will be selected as emitter change it to hair and in the number change it to 30000 any normal or any normal pc or any pc almost all pcs can handle 30000 easily so decrease the hair length to about 0.2 now click advance and a new option will come which will be called as physics go under forces and you will find brownian change the value to 0.05 so that looks like proper grass now so now hide the grass by clicking h or simply by clicking this i icon click shift a and add a cylinder and in this drop down men menu which will be named as add cylinder open it and change the vertices to half which will be 16 by default it will be set to 32 so now this is how your queue your cylinder will be looking like so now let's start by going to the edit mode now click control r and use your scroll wheel to increase the number of of loop cuts now click it and do not click anywhere if up here the value increases where it says edge slide then click escape then the value will reset so now click two on your keyboard and click this upper edge and alt select this entire part i have shown the tutorial to the alt select and the grass video fully on my other video so make sure to check it out the links are in the description down below so let's alt select these two now click s to scale it outside or like about this much click control b to bevel it and increase it to about this much click three on your keyboard and click e so as you can see this will happen and then click s and now as you can see it is going up a little bit so we don't want that so let's click shift z so as you can see it will only go on every axis except the z axis increase it about this much and this part is done now select this upper face and click i i will be to insert now take it inside about this much by after clicking i and then don't click anywhere else this face should be selected now click e and then this line blue line will appear so it will go down in the z axis take it down in the z axis do the same for the other side i about this much and then e up this type up so as you can see our barrel the modeling is complete so now click 3 on your keyboard 
which will already be selected after doing all of that and then click alt select this part now after selecting this by using alt do shift alt and then select it the entire tutorial for what happens when about this alt select will be linked in the description down below so shift alt select keep the cursor in the edge of this part to not select the entire thing so shift alt select shift alt select and then do the same thing for this final part so as you can see this entire part is selected go to the materials preview mode and click by this new button which will be here so let's add let's make this a bit darker so first let this be like this and then add a new one so this will be our second color so in the base color make it about this dark and assign it so after that increase the metallic value to about 1 and decrease this to 0.45 done so our this metal part is completed so remember this white color that we left in the start so we will use that right now take this to about close to red and yellow and make it a bit darker so this will be our low poly wood texture play around with this until you find the best one for you you can inc even increase the roughness so that mm, a lot of light would not reflect from this so as you can see this is already looking very good so barrels are not completely smooth so we will have to add some dents and some broken parts so click two on your keyboard or select this edge select mode and select these vertices any random vertices so click it and then click ctrl b to bevel it and then after about this much click x on your keyboard and select faces now click two on your keyboard to select these again shift select so select these two shift select them and click f on your keyboard to fill them do the same thing for the other one and done keep uh, keep repeating th this process until you find a proper barrel so now after you after that when you're satisfied with this much click any random vertices shift select a few of them like i'll go with these three and then click g and then z to make this a little bit bumpy so as you can see this is already starting to look really good if it's too bumpy for you then take a few vertices back up a little bit this is perfect for me so now go on these iron parts and then select these and then control b and then delete every then shift select these two to un unselect them and then delete this part faces shift select these two and then click f and again shift select these two and click f but remember while you're selecting these two these should not be selected so click f so as you can see this part is left so let's select this and f if you select all of it at once then it won't look like a bent like any dents then. so select a few of these so i'll shift select these these four grab them 
and remember to grab them do not extrude them because if you extrude them then only the edges will go up so we can do the same for a few of these because barrels are not completely perfectly made so as you can see this is perfect for me so we are done with modeling our barrel so let's so let's go to the click x here or click 3 on your numpad now click make sure to select this barrel and click g z to take it about this high so now let's get our ground back by clicking this i icon which will be closed at that time so let's start by adding a few more barrels shift d and sh shift z to accept z and then click r x then 90 to make it horizontal so now shift d except z which would be shift z and now r x and then r y so it will be hanging on this barrel and we are done so let's go and add our camera shift a and then camera and now click n on your keyboard go to view and camera to view which will be here so now click zero on your numpad or click this icon now where you move yourself your camera will also move there so as you can see this looks proper for me so now let's add our light sun take it about here and increase this to 10 or let's increase it to 25 so as you can see this looks proper so now go on this globe kind of an icon which would say world properties and under surface you will find this now you can change this to whatever you want I kept it about here on the Instagram post and then you can increase or decrease the strength on how bright it should be so this is how it would be but as you can see on the post this grass looks much more 3d so that is why I was in the cycles mode so as you can see the grass looks much more 3d and better right now so for you you might be thinking that cycles takes a lot of time to render any image but if you want the render to be have less samples then click 204 it here i usually take 204 it here which would be under viewport and under which would be under sampling and under render I take this as 4-0 so you will find this samples part by going on this camera which will say render properties and under sampling under viewport you will find max samples and minimum samples so as you can see these barrels and everything look much more shiny and uh, the metal part looks shiny as you can see it's reflecting a lot of light but the wood it's about not reflecting any light because we increase the roughness so after that we will click render which will be up here and uh, if you are doing an animation we will click render animation or if you're doing an image then we will click render image so let's wait for this to happen So as you can see after the rendering this will the samples will go the samples that said here now go to image save as and pick your file I will pick this one and then click barrel low pole or and then rename it and then click save image as so this is how you can create your own 
barrel image like I did for my Instagram Instagram post in Blender. So it's really simple and all of the videos that I told in this video are linked in the description down below. So make sure to check them out, to check them out and have a great day.